Chris and Ruben here, and we have our range finder eval popping off, and we're out here on the beautiful undisclosed location called Fort Moore, Fort Benning, whatever we want to call it. I don't know. It depends on your generation. Yeah. Every little micro adjustment you make is a huge mount. That is just getting a little radio check up. So we've got the Storm, L3 Storm, military grade, 1550 over a watt of power, laser range finder to baseline all these other 905 civilian grade laser range finders against. We also have a set of the loophole range finding binos. We have a set of the SIG 6K laser range finding binos. And then I always like to toss in our loophole RX 2800 just to see because you know what, as far as I'm concerned, if you're a uh, multi-thousand dollar laser range finder can't stack up to a five hundred dollar handheld laser range finder then why even buy it hey, right it's a tool it's a tool what's so, the magnification on the small you pull uh the handheld i think it's like seven or less okay all right yeah plus it's got that really it's a monocular really small so it's it's it's, it's virtually nothing but we will mount that to the tripod also just so we get that nice steady um you know steady range but so we got multiple different reflectivities multiple different sizes we'll skyline some targets so that way we can make sure that we're ranging the target itself and not the backdrop and get you guys some really good results here so stand by all right i got the truck at 538 got 538 as well Five three nine with the Mars five four one for the prototype five three eight. All right, so we're at a point now at 973 where we're getting a range from both of these tar uh, laser range finders, but we're not getting a range from the Vortex on that small white sign. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate what we're doing so you guys can see. We'll range the wood line so we make sure we clear out the range, and then we'll range back on the target with all three of these range finders so we can demonstrate this. So with the Mars, Rearrange the wood line. It actually doesn't give us a return. We come back, come back on the white sign. 908 immediately first press the prototype. We range the wood line 963. Come back on the white sign 908. With the vortex, range the wood line 963. So we know that's the wood line for sure. We, we range the sign 963. Range it again 963. And I'm moving the I'm moving the reticle around just to try to find if there's a different spot that'll pick it up. And no, it doesn't pick it up 963. So 963 seems to be the limit for the vortex on that small white sign. Okay. All right, so we took it out to about 1,200 yards, and we really hit the limit of what all these 905s could do on anything smaller than about a truck. So uh, we got a couple of ranges here and there where things were picked up, but for the most part, it was really inconsistent. So what we've done now is we pushed out as far as we can see. Uh, we're going to be in that 24 to 2,700. Actually, I think we're right around 2,800 right now. With the farthest we can see, we'll start to creep back in until we lose sight in defilade. Um, and we're going to see what these can do on a, just a truck size target at those kind of extreme long range distances. So let's see what they can do. 2509, 2509 from the 
vortex 2745. Storm is reading at 2745. 